Okay, so it's been quite some time since I shared with you guys iPhone tricks you probably didn't know about. Apple has released quite a bit of updates since my last one. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few iPhone tricks you probably didn't know exist. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first two tricks i wanted to share with you guys help you organize your iphone and also create some storage on your device as well the first thing is launch the contacts application on your iphone now inside the contacts app you want to go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom just like so and at the bottom portion here you'll find duplicates right here you can scan for duplicates on your iphone and it will allow you to either merge for an existing contact ignore or you can swipe to the left and remove any duplicates manually again this will help you organize and create more storage on your iPhone. Now you can also do this within the photos application in case you didn't know you want to go into albums here and then you want to scroll to the bottom and right here you find the duplicates folder. There it is. Now you can go ahead and merge any duplicates or it also works in videos as well. So if you have videos it will show you here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and merge these two existing duplicates right there just creating one creating more space on my iPhone and organizing my iPhone as well. So you can do that with the contacts and the photos application scan for duplicates for videos contacts photos etc so really cool tricks here for the contacts and the photos now this next one is a wi-fi trick so if you're connected to a wi-fi network and don't know the password to it because someone shared the password with you but you want to know the password you can go into your wi-fi settings here and then once you're connected to the wi-fi network you can click on this i right here and this will allow you to tap on the password and with face id you can unlock that password for the network of course i don't have face id in frame so it's not going to show me but you can tap on the password and find out what the password for that network that you're connected to is once you scan your face with face id for a wi-fi network that you're connected to i think this one's really cool as well now this next one is for all my iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max users did you know that when you're listening to music using dynamic island you can actually dismiss dynamic island by swiping over to the left just like so if you don't like dynamic island present and you can swipe to the right and have it showed up on the dynamic island again just by swiping and let's say you have a timer so let's say you set a timer here and now you have two things happening in dynamic island you can swipe over to the left and bring the timer into frame swipe over to the right remove it completely or bring the timer back and swipe down in order to split these and show both dynamic island actions at the same time so this is a pretty cool trick for iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max users on how to use dynamic island with simple gestures now this next one is super cool this one allows you to control your iphone using your apple watch or any nearby device so any device that's connected to the same wi-fi find network on your apple id you can actually go into your apple watch and then you can go into the settings here you want to scroll down until you find the accessibility options click into that and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom here and you'll find control nearby devices and of course it's going to populate the iphone 14 pro max on this table here i can tap into that and i can actually invoke siri just like so as you can see right there i can invoke siri directly on this iphone using this particular action here controlling nearby devices i can click the home button just like so i can go into the app switcher click back home here i can go into uh, notification center i can go into control center it's something really cool that you can do with your apple watch i can also control my ipad so this is a really nice trick for apple watch users if you need to control your iphone or any nearby devices using your apple watch with controlling nearby devices option under accessibilities and last but not least with ios 16.4 and the new shortcuts application you can now restart your iphone using a shortcut or you can actually power down your iphone and create these shortcuts on the home screen of your iPhone so of course what you need to do is download the shortcuts application if you don't already have it on your iPhone click on the shortcuts click on add here and then right here where it says action we want to go ahead and type in shutdown just like so select the action just like that and of course you can customize the icon here you can choose different colors you can choose different icons for it and then you can set it just like so now if you want to switch from shutdown to restart you can click on the shutdown option and select restart just like so so to create a shutdown or restart just click done just like that and then you want to click on the three dots here click on the share options right here and then add it to the home screen and now you have a home screen shortcut for shutting down or respring your iphone whenever it is that you would like so there it is a new shutdown and respring options available with shortcuts directly on ios 16.4 or newer and these are some of the latest iphone tricks i wanted to share with you guys let me know if you know any of these or if you know any that you would like to share you can always do that in the comments down below thank you for watching guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one
Peace.